Hi, Viola. Well, hello, Rick. Nice to see you again. <laughs> um, Rick Barron is um, the Associate Director for the Society of Home Business Owners. And he's also co-author of the soon-to-be-released book, How to Make a Legitimate, Even Extraordinary Income from Home. So welcome, Rick. Thank you, Viola. Um, now, my first question is, um, how does the Society of Home Owners, Home Business Owners, serve home-based business? How does that work? Viola, my partner and I created the Society of Home Business Owners to serve the diversity of needs that home business owners have in relation to information and resources essentially to create a one-stop shop where home business owners can go to get their questions answered. I've been operating a business out of my home since 1994, and it seemed like I always needed one more person on my team mm -hmm. to answer the questions that I had. So what we did is we pulled those resources together under a single umbrella and now members of the Society of Home Business Owners can get direct access to our online board of business advisors and get prompt answers to their questions so that they can get back to the business of serving their customers. Oh, very good. Well, now tell me, how does the Society of Home Business Owners differ from free help business owners, such as receiving service from your local chamber of commerce, commerce the Small Business Development Center, uh, and um, are the service co-op of retired um, executives. How does that differ? Well, that's a great question. Mm -hmm. I mean, why would you pay for something mm -hmm. that you would potentially get for free, right? Mm -hmm. It just doesn't make any sense. The good news is there are a lot of people and organizations that are out there serving home business owners. That's the good news. The downside is many of those people are doing so without direct experience in owning and operating a home business themselves. The, the tools, the strategies, the techniques mm -hmm. that people learn in corporate America in what works in billion-dollar organizations often is not directly reapplicable to a home-based business. And so our online board of business advisors are in the trenches every single day. They have first-hand experience, and they share their insights with mm -hmm. members of the Society of Home Business Owners in our online forum and in our monthly newsletter. Now, what is the state of the home owners in America today? Home business owners in America today, there's some good news, mm -hmm. and there's some not so good <laughs> news. The good news is that probably, based on the the research that I've done, probably 70% or more of us wish we could be self-employed. And that there are about 18 million home business owners in the United States today. I mean, that's quite considerable. A lot of home business owners today. The not so good news is that many of those business owners had ardent enthusiasm in pursuing businesses, and the recession forced a lot of them in when they really weren't ready. And so I've seen statistics that say that as many as 40% of those mm -hmm. home-based businesses are in trouble and need some outside help. So uh, what uh, advice uh, do you have for homeowners? The number one piece of advice that I give to home business owners mm -hmm. is pursue your passion. Mm -hmm. If it feels like work, it's probably not going to get done. <laughs> but if it feels like fun, you'll climb mountains to get it done. And let me give you a personal example. I recently partnered with a company whose mission is to end obesity in America. I'm healthy, I'm fit, I enjoy um, eating well and exercising. And I love sharing that passion with other people. So the time that I invest in educating people about nutrition, 
exercise, eating well, and ending obesity in their lives and the lives of those they love. It's really not effort, Viola. Mm -hmm. It's a love, a passion that really um, transcends the time and the work, and time just seems to slip by. The second thing that I would suggest in terms of advice for home business owners is really outsource your weaknesses. I don't know what it was, whether there was a book or a manual mm -hmm. that somebody read that said, hey, if you start a business, you've got to do everything. You've got to be everyone or everything to everyone. And that's just not true. There are plenty of people out there that are ready, willing, and able to help home business owners at a very reasonable cost. And for an example, I recently outsourced the search engine optimization tasks that I do for the Society of Home Business Owners website. I had been spending half days, multiple days a week doing this and decided it was time to find somebody else. I did my research. I found a company that was willing to do exactly what I wanted very affordably. And in a matter of a week or two, they were able to accomplish mm. what I was unable to do after a matter of months. The <laughs> third thing that I would suggest for home business owners is mm. they really need to create multiple sources of income. Okay. One of anything mm -hmm. is bad in business one customer, one product, one mm -hmm. service, one employee, one of anything is bad. If you ask anybody that recently lost their job, if a second income mm -hmm. would have helped out, mm -hmm. I would think they would all enthusiastically say, absolutely. In many cases, the easiest and the most convenient way to do that is through networking or direct sales. Uh -huh. These companies help people create thousands of businesses each and every day, and then turn around and train them to help them be successful. So do your due diligence, mm -hmm. align your passion with your work, and soon you may find that you no longer need your JLB. Oh. Well, thank you so much, Rick, for that. Now, how can viewers and members of the audience uh, learn more about this? If you're interested in exploring membership in the Society of Home Business Owners, you can visit our website at www.sobo.org. That's www.sohbo.org. If you'd like some additional information about a nutritional program for weight loss and ending obesity, you can visit loveyourscale.info. That's loveyourscale.info. Thank you. Thank you very much, Rick. Thank you, and uh, I look pleasure. forward to, to reading your book. Thank you very much.